Hello, my internet friends. Uh, this is gonna be a pretty quick video that shows you how to go through the process of changing your address in Google Search Console. So I've recently decided to switch domain names from inalternateroot.com to davewerfel.com. And so I'm basically moving everything over from that old domain to the new domain. All the actual content, all the page URLs individually are gonna stay the same. We're just changing the domain name from one to the other. So there's definitely some SEO things to keep in mind when we do this. Thankfully, Google Search Console has a change of address feature that lets us let Google know that we've changed that address and it can update itself accordingly, pass on any kind of um, link juice that's associated with the old domain, basically give it to the new domain and help Google understand that it needs to stop showing the old domain in its search engine result pages and start showing the new one. So I'm gonna just gonna walk you through that. There are definitely some things that you wanna consider before you do all of this. I'll briefly mention those. Google has uh, a help article on their change of address tool, as you can see here. And so it just gives you some tips when not to use it. So again, this is when you're completely changing that domain name. If you're going www to non-www, that's different. If you're doing HTTP to HTTPS, hopefully you're already using HTTPS, so that's not a concern. But if you're changing that, those are not reasons to use this. This is only if you're completely changing the domain name from one to another. So they just give you some best practices here and then also some work to do before you tell Google about this. The main thing here is that you wanna set up all your 301 redirects. I'm not gonna cover that in this video. We'll do that in another video. There's a lot of different ways to set up uh, 301 redirects. You can kind of do them through your host. You can do them through Cloudflare. Um, through your uh, domain registrar, whoever's managing your DNS, that kind of stuff. So there's a lot of different ways you can do that. Um, we're not gonna cover that, but you wanna make sure that's done uh, before you go in and tell Google that you're changing your domain name. And then a few requirements here. You have to be the owner of both the old and the new properties in Search Console. So I'll show you briefly what that looks like um, in a minute. And then um, you, you also wanna do that at the domain level, which again, I'll show you in just a second. Uh, and then, yeah, that's pretty much it in terms of what you need to know before you get ready to do it. So now let's jump over here into our um, search console. I'm gonna click this drop down, which has a list of all my properties. And you'll see I have two properties listed here. I've got the old property and alternate route, and then the new property, Dave Werfel. So both of these, it says domain property right underneath. So what I highly recommend doing before you use this change of address is use this domain option to add your properties as a domain property instead of the old way, which was URL prefix. So I believe this domain um, option was only added in the newer version of Google Search Console. So previously we had to put in HTTP, HTTPS, WWW, and non-WWW. So we had four different types that we would add here. Now all we have to do is just add one domain. It covers HTTPS and regular HTTP. It also covers any kind of subdomain, www or otherwise that you might have. It's just a super simple way, uh, much easier than the old way. So I would add both of your old domain and your new domain using this new domain property type. You will have to update some DNS records. Um, there's lots of videos out there that show you how to do that. So go and look up one of those for your specific DNS provider, but highly recommend adding both of your properties using this domain method. So once you do that, you'll have both the domains listed here. So in order to use this change of address, you're gonna to wanna to go to your old domain. So I've got that selected here. Then on the left-hand side, you'll come down to settings. And then there's an option for change of address. So it just mentions again, uh, to change your address, you must set up the 301 redirects from the old site to the new site. So make sure that that's done first. And then there's just a couple more little notes they give you here. Um, changing the address for a domain property, which is like what I just mentioned. This is a domain specific property. Um, and then make sure you're the verified owner of both sites, which we are. So then you'll get this drop down that says select new site. So on that drop down, any other site that you verified will uh, in your list of property sites here will be available. So I only have the one other site and that is the new site that we're moving to. So I select that. So we're going from an alternate route.com to DaveWarfel.com. And I've already set up all my redirects. Everything goes where it should. So then I'm gonna click the validate and update button. All 
All right, so Google checked everything. It looks like they uh, checked that there's a 301 redirect from the homepage. There's also verification for both sites. I can take a quick look. It's saying it's a redirect found. It's saying this site and the new site, they're both verified. So everything uh, checked in terms of what Google needs and is required to use this tool. So that's good news. So it looks like the only thing left to do is click confirm move. All right, so now we get this message that says the site is currently moving. It's got the date started message here. There is a button to cancel it. So if you do this accidentally or you change your mind, decide not to, you can cancel it. But um, the site is currently being moved. So Google does mention in their help documentation about this tool that once you've done this, Google will know to use the new site as the preferred site over the old one. Uh, and then it says it will keep this in mind for the next 180 days. So by that time, hopefully your new site has had time to be completely crawled by Google, showing up in search results. Maybe you've alerted other sites that are linking to the old site to change those URLs over to the new site all that kind of stuff. Um, but Google says it'll keep this in mind for 180 days. And this should definitely help out with um, not having you lose any of your SEO that you've earned from that old site when you switch over to a new domain. So it could still take some time and some old domains, some old URLs uh, from your old domain might still show up in Google search engine result pages. But since you have the redirects, that should take care of things. Um, so hopefully over time, that new site will stop showing up in Google search results or the old site will stop showing up in Google search results and your new site will be the only one there. Uh, so the only other thing that I will mention here is you'll wanna make sure that you uh, check out your, your overview and your performance. Um, you'll wanna keep an eye on these. So I just recently validated both of, uh, well, the old property is what I just recently validated. I've had the website on the new property for a while. So I definitely have some performance um, uh, data here and stats here. Um, more might get added to this because it says right here one of your other sites is moving to this site. So some of the information from our old site here could get moved over into the new site just to give us more of a full picture. But since I've already switched those domains, I've already had DaveWarfel.com up and running for a couple of months, then I already have information here. Just want to keep an eye on um, on both sites in your Google Search Console and just look at the data, see if anything crazy pops up, see if there's any issues um, with your sitemaps or with things not being indexed. Just keep a close eye after you make that change and um, continue to monitor that, but continue to move forward with that new domain, keep publishing new great content, and this should definitely help out your SEO.